Hi, I'm Melcy. In this video, I'll show you how to model plastics using EcoInvent. Plastics are used in various applications, so it's important to know how to model them systematically. This video covers plastic materials and components in general. We'll have dedicated videos for specific topics, such as polymer textiles. If you're new to LCA, we have other videos explaining the basics of dataset search. When modeling plastics, Consider the following questions. What form are you purchasing the plastic in? What is the full name of the plastic? How was the plastic process to become the part you're buying? First, determine the form in which you're buying the plastic. Is it a raw material like granulate or resin, or is it processed into a film, component, or finished product? If you're buying granulate or resin, you'll only need one eco invent dataset. However, if you're purchasing a more processed form, you'll need to model the raw material and the processing separately. If you want to know more about modeling materials or components with two datasets, we have a separate video about that. Once you know whether you need one or two datasets, you can start searching for the material in EcoInvent. Plastics often have abbreviations, but in EcoInvent, they are listed by their full names. For example, search for high-density polyethylene instead of HDPE. If you're unsure about the full name, you can search online. If you're buying processed plastics, find out how they were processed to become the component you're purchasing. This may be challenging as there can be multiple processing methods for the same component. For example, plastic film can be produced through extrusion or blow molding. And if you're not in contact with a supplier, it might be hard to find out. The solution to this situation depends on how much you expect a plastic component to impact your product's footprint. If you're modeling a major component of your product, you might want to put some effort into learning the production method from the supplier. However, if you're modeling a few grams of plastic film that you're using to wrap your product, it's probably sufficient to estimate the production method with the most likely one, as it will not affect your LCA results too much. Online search engines are probably your best friend in this case. After you determine the production method, you can start constructing your model. Let's move to the t-shirt demo in Mobius for an example. Suppose I've already modeled several t-shirts and want to add a basic model of the packaging film. I did some research and found out that we use LDPE film produced through extrusion. Since it's a process material, I created an object with two items one for the material, and one for the processing. Let's add impact for the material first. As always, filter on the version of the database you're working with for consistency. We need to search for the full name of the material, low-density polyethylene. This raw material is usually a granulate, so I'll add that too. Since I don't know where the supplier gets the granulate from, I add market and choose the global market for the material. Next, we can add some impact for the extrusion. The right database is still selected, so we can immediately move on to the search. Typing extrusion and film gets us some results. I'm going to add market, since I don't know if we're getting the material from the producer or a distributor, and take the global market. Now that we selected our datasets, we need to check whether the units match our model unit and the properties are set up correctly. We've modeled both the material and the extrusion per kilogram. Starting with the granulate, we can see that the dataset also is modeled per kilogram. Next, we look at the item property in the detail panel and we see it matches. For the extrusion, we do the same and we see that all units and properties match, so our model is correct. I have a first version of our plastic film that I can start adding to the t-shirts. In this video, I explained how to model purchase plastics with EcoInvent datasets. It's important to realize that getting familiar with EcoInvent and with LCI databases in general takes some time. So it might be challenging to find the right datasets at first. If you still need some more assistance, you can look up more resources on our website or check out our online LCA Academy. If you want to learn more about properties, you can watch our dedicated video about that topic. Good luck with doing your own LCA.